Hey everyone, it's Holly, and today I am talking about Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is less than a two hour drive from where we live in Denver, Colorado. So it is very doable for us to go up there and do a day trip. So in today's video, I am gonna share with you a day trip we just did recently and show you all the fun things that you can do up there with young kids. But before I get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now. I still have a lot of great stuff on the way and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. All right, let's talk right now about Rocky Mountain National Park. This national park is a highly visited park. It gets really crowded here during the summer months. So if you are planning to come during summertime, try and avoid the weekends as much as possible. And if at all possible, try and come early summer or late summer. This day trip that we recently did was in early May and the crowds were not too bad as far as crowds go. First thing that we did when we got into the park was we drove straight to Bear Lake. Bear Lake is also highly visited. Bear Lake can get very crowded so you'll want to get there first thing because the parking lot can fill up. Now it is high in elevation so when we went there was actually a lot of snow still on the ground and the lake was frozen. This is what it normally looks like in the summer months, so you can see it is a gorgeous lake. We are at Bear Lake at Rocky Mountain National Park. The lake is frozen, but it is a beautiful day out. Even though we're hiking in the snow, it's really cool just to be out here on this gorgeous day. this just looks like a valley covered in snow but it's actually a frozen lake covered in snow we ended up hiking all the way around it even though we had to hike through the snow it was still a fun adventure it was really nice out that day and as you can see it was absolutely beautiful It's a great hike to go around Bear Lake, even when there is a bunch of snow. After we were done hiking around Bear Lake, we then drove down the mountain and went to Sprague Lake. Sprague Lake is lower in elevation, so we didn't have all that snow on the ground and the lake was not frozen. Both Bear Lake and Sprague Lake are great hikes to do with kids because they're not only flat hikes, but they aren't very long. Both these lakes are not huge, so you can easily walk around both of them and get to explore a little bit around the area. So very doable for little ones. There was still a little bit of snow by the lake, but only in one part. The rest of the hike was nice and dry. And as you can see, it's a beautiful lake. There are mountains in the background. We really enjoy just letting our kids explore nature. some fun boulders to climb on that our kids enjoyed and then of course always throwing rocks in the water is a highlight at least for my kids. the length of your hike if you have kids make sure you always pack plenty of water and snacks we personally enjoy m and breaks on our hikes 
after hiking around both lakes, we did a little bit of driving in the park, and there are a lot of beautiful drives to do at Rocky Mountain. The most popular one is Trail Ridge Road. Trail Ridge Road is closed most of the year. It opens up Memorial Weekend and closes sometime after Labor Day weekend after the first snowfall. We were still able to get up pretty high there and get to this observation point enjoying this beautiful view. We are now way up high on Ridge Road. Got Long's Peak back here and this beautiful valley. There is certainly a lot of other fun things to do at Rocky Mountain National Park. Since we do live so close, I'm hoping that we'll get up there more often and get to explore more areas of the park. I will definitely be doing more videos on fun things to do there with young kids. After we were done, we went down to Estes Park. Estes Park has a cute downtown area full of souvenir shops and restaurants. We enjoyed some delicious hamburgers at Pan Penelope's World Famous Burgers and Fries. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a family-friendly restaurant and some good food. After you fill up, then you can go and walk around Estes Park some more doing last minute souvenir shopping or window shopping. Well, that is it. That is how we spend our day trip and ways of spending one full day with kids up at Rocky Mountain National Park. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some great ideas of how to plan your vacation to Rocky Mountain National Park or day trip. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope that you have a wonderful day.